Jack and Dylan's daily video podcast, The Shorter Film. Meanwhile, on an island far, far away, after 189 consecutive episodes, Jack and Dylan have decided on the format of a daily video podcast discussing their various interests, such as art and postcards. This is what happened next. Hi, it's Jack and Dylan. We're artists living in the rural wilderness of Canada. Thank you for helping us share our daily video podcast. Our first podcast were called Enjoying Postcards, and we're continuing on with that. But we're adding also Coloring Manitoulin. Now, this is our 2017 Manitoulin Island coloring book, and also the first time I've drawn a project with my father. So please keep watching the unfolding story of our continuing education. And thanks for watching White's TV. We'll see you on the flip side. Kind of a lame ending, but... Well, you, know. you can take that out, though. Yeah, I can you? take that out. Now, yeah. do you want to do another one? We thought our fans might enjoy a behind-the-scenes look at some of the source material that we're going to use for coloring Manitoulin. And that's our 2017 Manitoulin Island coloring book. Here we got a scrapbook full of some Jack White sketches, and hopefully he's going to tell us something about them. Now, these are sketches that you use mostly for collages... Collages and paintings. So they probably go back to sometime 1980 or so to present. Oh, I have no idea. I just stuck things together in the book when I found them. Now, this page has a lot of musicians on it. I can see a fiddler on there. Oh, I got into doing fiddlers on everything. Do you remember in our uh, pocket art, uh, we put in one of my fiddler things. Remember the, the fiddler pocket Fiddler on art? a cold tin car. Uh, fiddler on the roof, something yeah. like that, there wasn't it? There you go, yeah. We'll show a close-up of that one. Can we look at some of the other pictures just yeah, to get uh, an example? you got uh, body language, and I'm sure there's going to be some architecture. There, there's somebody that we used in one of your um, coloring pages. Yeah, we, that was one of the first ones that we traced out the uh, out in the back house, typical Manitoulin Island site. Oh, there's all kinds of different versions of them on that page. That's kind yeah, of cool. Yeah, yeah. I oh. don't draw once. I'm, uh, Do always, I'm always looking for something. All right. What else have we got? What else we have we got? some more people. Somebody playing Here's another hockey. version of Oh, him. yeah, another version of him. I think we used that one on a poster or something like yeah, that. Yeah, probably. Something like that. I'm pretty sure the silhouette got used. There's in some of this stuff from the racetrack drawings. Oh, yeah, that goes yeah. back a little bit. Some fly fishermen. It looks like there's some stuff from the Prov Fair there. Yeah. A sailboat. That was like another logo design or something like that. People dressed up in regalia and costumes. More people. Well, I was always using my characters. Yeah. Lots of body language there. And there's lots of examples of characters. Oh, Mr. Canoehead. I think Mr. I, Canoehead. Wasn't that, I think that was me who got into the uh, Mr. Canoehead Yeah, I that. had you wandering Not sure around. Not shiny so that I page is. But. I had a commission to do a portage. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I don't remember what the final piece looked like. That's pretty good. More Neither do I. Oh, there we got some landscapes. I was hoping yeah. there'd be a little bit of landscape oh, yeah. architecture. Yeah. Or now we're like using those in your yeah in, in the your coloring, um, book. coloring book. Yeah, there's some islands and stuff. I've traced out lots of trees. I've gotten here into trees. More people and shapes. Oh, the little girl with the balloon. She reminds me. That's Dusty Dancing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that one's kind of that one's there. Yeah, yeah, that's Dusty Dancing. Yeah, yeah. Um, snow you, machines. I did a lot of stuff with snow machines. Winter stuff. And a lot of these are held in the plastic page because they have cut marks from the exacto knives, right? Yeah. So you yeah. Cutting out the paper. When I was cutting out the papers. Oh yeah, we got some animals. There's some transparencies. Oh, um, ice fishing. There's some sketches from the um, Manitoulin Illustrator. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the dance. I recognize that. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Okay. And, uh, did a lot of um, winter scenes with outhouses on the ice. Oh, there's town. I recognize that. Yeah, and boats. Some more sailboats. Now, did you pull out a copy of the sketchbook, too? Okay, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna look in the cover of the book to remember when we put this out. Oh, it was 2008. Another project that we forgot to mention the other day. Oh, I recognize the Manitowan in the okay, here's your church. Go. Yeah. Now I've used that church in everything, and I used that in the first coloring book, didn't I? I think so. Yeah, that's our uh, Manitowan Manitowan's oldest church page. Yeah. Oh, that one's more of a sketch sketch. That's kind of that's more. Yeah, that's just yeah, a pencil sketch. More of a sketch. Okay, so in 2008 we took a good number of these pictures and we scanned them and we reproduced them to make your Manitoulin Island sketchbook. 
And this is where a lot of the material that we've been working from actually came from. So I don't have to rescan it and take apart the fragile images. We have all these on the computer. So I can uh, take those and I'm not sure what, I can't remember now all the pages. We're going to go through well, on that the computer. Was a collage and we'll most of this stuff has been used in art or collages yeah. somehow. Memory of the Wish Book, that's funny. The Cork Houses. I forgot the, this is such a the, neat book. Um, oh, there's the Baldy Jinx. That's the Baldy. Yeah. And then where's the one you use, the House of Deer? Oh, that's the Noakes House, isn't it? No. Um, I always get them confused. Oh, that's because I read the Noakes. Oh, there. There. The, no, pres the Prestige Place. The Prestige that's Place. That's it. Oh, now yeah. that's the first um, drawing you started to make. Oh, that's right. That's he the first He used that image. Exactly. And that's, gonna, that's on our mock-up cover at the moment. And, and uh, it's also uh, hanging in on my wall, a color version of it. Oh, excellent. So there you go. That's the inside look into some of the material that we're using for our coloring book. You got anything else to say? No. Good night, Gracie. I've got to get this fucking thing up in there. Oh, yeah, the best laid plans of mice and men. So we keep talking about the Manitoulin Island coloring book. We thought we ought to show it to you. Uh, the cover is basically a collage of some of the interior images. A lot of people ask us if it's an adult coloring book, and I tell them it's an all-ages coloring book. I've colored pages out of it and really enjoyed it. I'm a big fan of art therapy, so I think it's absolutely wonderful. Let's go through the book and... Uh, See if we have some interesting stories about it. We have a nice story about the island. It took a lot of work to write something that was politically correct about the region, but I think we did a very nice job at remaining neutral, so that's excellent. And these are examples of ha trees. These with the berries and this with the fruit. And that was one of the main sources of um, food up here, I understand. Vitamin C for the settlers. But, yeah. All right. Now there's an example where we've used the art from this book, and I've applied it into the coloring book fashion. Right, Manitoulin's oldest church in Manitouan. Yeah, and there's our Chichi Mon, which I'm sure I've drawn a hundred times. Yeah, pretty indicative of the The first island. drawing I did for them of that was from a model they sent me. Oh, good grief. No, the thing wasn't even built yet. This is the sort of the older version of the Chichi Mon. Put the book a little bit more like that. This is the sort of the older version of the Chichi Mon. The new one has graphics on it on the stack no. and on the front. Yeah. I haven't uh, been down there. I don't know. Oh, you got to see it. All right. Okay. So. Uh, Pioneer Museum in Mindamoya. Our idea with the book was to tie together as many interesting locations on the island as we could come up with. There's a look back in time with the Havelock Hotel. I understand they're um, uh, refurbishing the hotel and trying to bring it back. Really renovating it after all these years. That's That'd be the something. word I'm looking for. Kagawong has gone through a bit of a renaissance. I still uh, blame our Manitoulin Illustrated that uh, brings so much interest to Kagawong. There's one of my characters from the book. Oh, yeah, I recognize yeah. her. And we have a picture of the Gorbe Airport. I mentioned before that we used this as the coloring contest when we had our Gores Day event. We got a whole bunch of really neat Oh, right, of okay, yeah. yeah. The Swing Bridge in Little Current. We got a really nice scene there. Beaver Dam. That's the, one of the pages I colored at the market this summer. That was a lot of fun. Fishing on the island is absolutely huge. It's, that's the island practice that's big. for the fishing. Yeah. Uh, or connect the dots. Somebody looked at me really funny. I told them that the color of the, the connect the dots is hard because you got to get them in the right order or the island's the wrong shape. They kind of, you know, but it's, I don't know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun. We got the Prov Fair. We got the powwows with the regalia. That's really fun to color. I think Ashley's sister did a really nice version of that one. And the lighthouse out in Mississauga. That's excellent. The. Another uh, fill in the dots with the Manitoulin gold. I, the Manitoulin he, gold is a flower. The, oh, yeah. It's a, and I totally, I had to do these ones by hand to check them out, too, to make sure that they worked. I always freak out when I see that. Oh, yeah, we got an ad with the picture. For those folks who don't know or haven't read Dad's scrapbook, he started his life as a child model. Seen here with one of his buddies at the time, Mickey Mouse. And, uh, oh, one of the old uh, one-room schoolhouses. I sort of mentioned that in one of our other podcasts where I'm filling in that page of the classroom. We got a word search puzzle. That's just kind of neat. A little uh, farm scene with some animals. And then I always like these. Remember they used to do like cosmic doodle-doo, which you, yeah. you, know, you finish the pages of the images? Yeah, so I whatever. That was yeah. Where is that tune? Exactly. Yeah. And then the yeah, That's end the of end story. of the history, right? Yeah. There you go. And there you go. That's the Manitoulin first. Island Coloring Book. Yeah, that's yeah. our first. Took us about 14 years to take from the original concept to completion. I think that the new book will take about a, a year all in all to put together and have on the market. Which is you think good. so, huh? Well, I got my fingers crossed, knock on wood. 
uh, that it all works. Out. And this is one of the things that you can actually order off of our website. If you go to uh, our fan page, then there's a link there. Where you can go buy it off our web store. You too can enjoy coloring Manitoulin. Now here we have the cover for Coloring Manitoulin, and I thought it might be fun to do a little video about our progress thus far. The cover, of course, is much like the original Manitoulin Island coloring book. It's a collage of some of the in images that go inside of the book. Let's look at the... Uh, here's one that I traced, and the original image came from Manitoulin Illustrated. This is the story of the piano when the oxen are pulling the piano up the hill. Yeah, that's when we were coming out of gag. And this one was uh, one from our podcast where I was tracing a page from the Asia. So here's the steamer Asia coming into the shore. This is the first image in our graphic novel of the Asia. And then this is the one that I did. There's a couple videos in this where I'm tracing out the backyard. I keep saying that I really enjoyed this one because it had a lot of nice smooth lines on it. We were thinking maybe later on we'd add a little bit of other detail in the foreground. Yeah, we'll have to get something happening. Yeah, make it into a scene. Yeah. Okay, and then here's our house of deer. Yeah, that's the one that um, the Prestige, the old Prestige house. I did a painting of that years ago, and in the um, sketchbook there's a story I put along with it. I'll show that up. There. Oh, I guess you can't see it, but. Um, I, maybe I'll show off the page in the video. Yeah. Should I read what it says here for the yeah, story? Yeah. The Prestige Place, Burpee, 1957. I once asked, who boarded up the old Prestige Place? The answer was, I don't know, but I can tell you why. Someone, not from around here, was out hunting. They took a shot at a buck standing in the doorway and missed. The buck bolted away, followed by nine more deer, some flying out the windows. The house was probably boarded up to keep the cattle out, but I kept asking around anyway, just to hear what the deer count would be this time. It always changed, depending on who the storyteller was. That's pretty good. So this is a little bit of an homage to the story with all the deer in the house. Um, yeah, it's a true story. <laughs> and what else did we do? Okay, here's our fiddler in the back house. Now we talked about him in the... Original sketch. The video, book, yeah, right? where yeah. the uh, original drawing came from. And here we have a boat. This is one ended up on the cover. We haven't yeah. given it a scene yet. But it's one of the tugs that was really indicative. Of... I used it in a picture of the uh, Strawberry Island Lighthouse. Oh, right. That's the one. I remember that yeah. one. I, th yeah. I don't think it made it onto a pocket art, but we thought about using it on a pocket art. It's a really beautiful collage. Here's one that's a bit more fleshed out. So some fishermen. We had talked about maybe redrawing the dock on this one. It seemed a little rough, but otherwise it was coming along nice. Oh, here's the classroom. I just love this one. The looks on the, the students' faces are just priceless. Yeah, we were talking about um, putting the schoolhouse in the background, taking the clock out. Eh? Yeah, something Thanks. like that. Give it a bit more of a scene Nice looking clock. Oh. oh, yeah, I might use that somewhere else. Who knows? Okay, and then I, I drew this scene out of the Manitou and Illustrated, but then I realized I've drawn scenes of two steamers coming into port. So I don't know if that's overkill for one coloring book or not, but this was a steamer coming into Kagawong with the lighthouse and sort yeah, of expanded. Um, we don't know until we get going on it what we need and what we're going to Yeah, need. part of the fun is going to be seeing how these pages evolve from what they are now to what goes into the final book. Oh, this is kind of a neat scene of a guy chopping some wood. He's got a turkey in the foreground there. I yeah, mean, this is Thanksgiving, is it not? <laughs> apparently. I think I need to add some more depth to the firewood there. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, the tower, that's a water tower back in there. Oh, so well. I take it this is a, uh, could be a scene from a tourist. A so you're part of a camp or something like yeah, that. Yeah, because lodge. they'd use that for their water pressure for the camps. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, this is just a couple scenes. I was doing a shoreline and then we have a bush truck. I don't know where they might end up. Who knows? Oh, here we got one. This one's based on the drawing from a painting you did called The Road to Oz. And I'm not sure if we're going to keep it, but in the foreground, I was starting to sketch in the Corduroy Road, like the uh, Tragically Hip song. Yeah, well, in the in the original picture I did, I put a Corduroy Road. But no way a Corduroy Road would sit there. But it's the road does. We'd love to show you the rest, but 15 minutes is the limit for this film fest. Join us online for more.